Wala. What's up, yo? This is D Black, the Ghana boy, and I'm here to face the fans on MX24. Keep it locked. Let's go. Um, actually an entertainer, somebody in the entertainment industry. So it was either a manager, an artist manager, event organizer, musician, film director, something centered around the creative art scene or the entertainment industry. Bridger Rockstar. He was my friend and he was the closest person to me who had made it in the music industry. And so since the age of 16 or 17, I used to hang around him every single day till I was about 23. Um, I wouldn't say it's one decision, it was it was a bunch of them. It was either focusing on my education solely or trying to split my time between creating music and, and going to school. So I kept getting into trouble. I got, got suspended from school a couple of times because I always wanted to make music and I still wanted to finish my education. And that was a very difficult balance for me. God, that's my best friend. I pray every single day of my life. I don't go to church as much. It's a distraction. The trap pictures are... Um, it's one of my favorite traits in a human being. Loyalty is very important to me. So when I was creating this album, I just looked at the things that were happening around me, uh, around the people that were around me as well. And I felt like at this point in my life and in my career, that direction was very important for me. Which one of you people they enjoy past? None of you. Me being a German minister. I chose my favorite artists at that particular point in my life from around the continent to be on. It's actually two albums, it's loyalty and disloyalty. So I was creating both albums at the same time. So I just picked people whose music I resonated with and, and some of them didn't even have music out at the time, but they were still like my favorite artists for years. Somebody like Ifia is my classmate and she's been on every single album of mine. So she was bound to be on that album. And I, I picked my favorites, people who were putting on music that I liked personally. It wasn't about people who had commercial success. It was people that I liked myself that I put on the album. Um, it affected my club business, my lounge business, my events firm. It affected me as an artist. It affected the artists on a label that I own. And I was stuck in America for about five months because the borders were closed. So financially it was very draining. And it was emotionally worse because you weren't able to do the things that you love to do and the things that put food on the table for you and your family, you know. So it was a very difficult time. Uh, first of all, I told you to check out Sefa featuring Mr. Drew. He choked a big song now. Um, Sefa is on her media tour now, so you probably see her soon. And um, basically, my album is Sefa's project. Look out for those two. Check them out. Out everywhere. Um, for a very long time, I've tried to separate the two. So so far, so good. It's it's not easy, but I try as much as possible to separate my work uh, from my private life.
They are playing. Endoso. Endoso. We don't have proper business structures. We don't have enough investors. We don't have a proper royalty collection society. Plenty. Been speaking. I mean, all we can do as entertainers is speak and hope that the government hears us and, and takes steps in the right direction to fix these things. And we're still waiting. We're keep, we, keep, we keep complaining, we keep talking. It's been going on for years. It's not just the music industry, it's the movie industry. It's the creative art scene. There's so many airs in there. So we're praying and hoping and waiting for the government to hear our voice. Film, uh, music, media, television, radio, uh, anything in the creative art space, that's my passion. Partying, nightclub, nightlife, all that stuff. You guys don't even know my age. I'm 34. To be honest with you, I haven't wanted to collaborate with an international artist so bad. If I want to do it so bad, I'll do it. Um, maybe next year we'll do a few. It's not one. So we'll do a few so that we can break into that scene properly. Um, I think I'm content because Half of my career, I haven't been focusing on the music solely. So at this point in my career, I'm very, very content and I'm, I'm happy. Uh, no. I'm not on your market. I don't have one, you know. Even if I did, it wouldn't be fair to say it. Rough, I think like three. Um, by nature, I'm a, I'm a giver, so I, I like to help. I like to help people, especially those who are around me. So, somebody like Joey B, he was my next door neighbor. So, uh, helping was was very easy for me to. Breezy was a, a long time friend. It was very easy for me to. So, I find very talented. And when I see somebody who's who's passionate about what she does, see sometimes you could have you could be talented, but when you're not passionate about what you do, I'll, I'll fall back. But Safa is. Somebody who's very passionate about what she does. She can have a, you can have a big song, you can have a great voice, but if you're not passionate and dedicated to what you're doing, it will end up being just a nice song and a nice voice. It doesn't become a hit song. It doesn't change your life, you know? And she's very driven and so helping people like that is just my nature. I don't do those things. Never have, never will. Which one of you people they enjoy us? None of you. Me be the German minister. Check out the album. Stay loyal, don't cheat. On your boyfriends or your girlfriends like me. Streets. Yeah.
Everybody up in the club, put your hands up. If you got money in your pocket, put your hands up. Put your hands up. If your girl get your hands up, put your hands up. If you're having the time of your life, put your hands up. If you're good for the night, feel now by NK5. Bring them more, tell them I'm making nice. This is cool, cool, too, tell them boom, boom, boom. A dream in the world, boom, boom, boom. What's up, yo? This is D Black, and I just faced the fans on MX24.